Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable the lock screen in Windows. And the lock screen is what you see when you log off or when you restart your computer. It's that uh, picture that you have to click on to get your password prompt. So it's just there to give you one extra step before you can log in. So let me give you a quick demonstration here. So I'm going to log off this computer. So this is the lock screen. So you have to click or press the spacebar or enter to then get to the login screen. So if you don't want to do that extra step, if you want to go right to the login screen, we're going to show you how to do that. So you're going to need to open the registry editor, first of all. So let's do a search for reg edit. Okay. So now I've got this little sheet here. We're going to Navigate to this key so you could just copy and paste this from the description. Easiest way to get there. Okay. So next we want to make a new key called personalization within Windows. So you could right click on Windows, new key, personalization. And then within that key, you want a new DWORD 32 bit value called no lock screen. So you could right click on there or you could just right click on the Blank spot here, D word 32 bit value, no lock screen, then double click it to open it, change it to one, and then OK. And now to activate it, you should be able to just uh, right click on start, go to task manager, and then look for uh, Windows Explorer and restart it, or you could restart the computer. Logging off might do it as well. So I'm going to just right click on Windows Explorer. Restart. You'll see your icons disappear and come back. Okay, so now I'm going to log off and we'll see what happens here. So now you can see we're right at the uh, login screen. We don't have to click or press enter to get past the picture. So we're taken right to the prompt here. Put in our PIN or password. And then we're uh, back in Windows without having to do that extra half second step that some people don't like. So like I said, I'll put the uh, instructions here in the description and then you could try it yourself and see how you like it. And if you don't like it, you could go back into RegEdit. And either delete the, uh, you could change this if you want to temporarily disable it, you could change that back to zero or you could delete this personalization folder assuming you made this and it wasn't there before with some other stuff in it, or you could just delete this as well. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.